Hey viewers, Fernando from SkyFi Audio. Continuing on the restoration of the JBL 4343s, uh, we just got back the set of drivers that we sent out for refurbishment. Um, big shout out to Miller Sound out in Pennsylvania for taking such good care of us as they always have and for really going an extra mile to make these as close to original as possible. You can just tell the amount of attention to detail that went into um, reforming these uh, drivers. So let me dive right in and, and go over what they've done, um, how we test drivers when they come back, and perhaps we'll even fit them into the uh, JBLs. So uh, as you've seen before, this is the 2121 uh, upper base driver, um, rated at 8 ohms impedance, and these here are the woofers, um, the 2231As. Um, if we look at a close um, look at the the job they've done, a few things to note. The first is the accuracy of these glue lines. They're absolutely pristine. Almost looks like it'd been done by a robot hand. Um, the thickness, uh, the shininess on it, and the, the evenness is just stunning. Um, on the foam surrounds, they did it properly where they glued the inside lip of the foam underneath of the cone itself. Um, that's the right way to do this. And I don't know how in the world, but they've made the surface look absolutely brand new. It had a little bit of overspray when they went out and some smudges, but they came back looking terrific. Same thing on the woofer. The seams are done beneath and the glue lines are absolutely perfect. New dust caps in place and, uh, and great foam all around for the, uh, for the gasket material as well. Taking a look at the back of the speaker, uh, here you go, JBL 2121, incredible magnet structure. And important to notice that um, the basket material itself is a cast metal. It's not a stamp material like you find in a lot of less expensive speakers. These are in fact uh, cast pieces of, of very, very high quality and, and weight. Here's the 2231 woofer, massive in size and weight. Let's look here, reveal some very clean glue lines. Same for the mid-range or the upper bass driver. And just a beautiful uh, speaker from, from JBL. So here's the set of four. I'm getting ready to, to do final testing and, and installation. Uh, a quick check before we go very deep. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just check the resistance on these. Let me get the camera in place. So connecting up to the upper base drivers, it's gonna yield somewhere around seven or eight ohms. I think we're reading about 7.5. Now this is the impedance rating is eight ohms. Uh, don't expect to see the exact thing on the meters uh, because the placement of the basket, you know, where, I'm sorry, the, the cone will affect uh, the impedance right away. So if you can see as I push down on the, on the cone, I will vary the what the multimeter sees. We'll do a, a better test in our bench equipment in a bit. So from here, um, I usually do a quick listening test just to make sure there's nothing uh, in the way of making it work right. So I'm gonna walk over to the, to the test bench. Uh, this is, uh, if you've seen other videos, this is my test bench. Uh, I've got um, a Signet uh, frequency generator here, going through some patch panels and some speakers, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm able to, to connect a, a speaker to a signal source. And do some quick listening tests. So I can vary frequency. So that's about 35 hertz right there. That's outside of the range of this driver. So I'll go up a little further, right about 100 hertz is where this starts performing. And then I'll keep going past into its sweet spot.
So here we're listening for any sort of distortion, unevenness, raspiness, anything of the voice coil rubbing against the magnet structure. Pretty good, and that can run a sweep through it. So, so far so good. All right, let's take it over to the speaker, see if we can get it installed. our donor speaker. So 4343, and it's the place for the bass driver. This is the upper bass driver, which I mentioned before in a video is in its own structure, which is kind of cool, or in its own cabinet. It's isolated uh, from the rest of, of the cabinet. So let me see if I can get this camera angle right. Get to work here. So here we're just going to follow the, the colors that have been provided to us. Negative should be in black. It's nice that these use spring terminals. Uh, modern speakers nowadays don't anymore. Uh, they were soldered in place, but in this professional line of speakers, they were always provided with spring terminals. So we have the gasket material already in place behind the speaker. And it's as simple as screwing in place. So here's what it looks like in place. It's got a beautiful brushed aluminum bezel to it. I'm not quite sure what the original factory orientation, whether the, the polish lines were horizontal or vertical. If you know the answer to that, uh, please put it in the comments. I'd love to know. And um, I think that'll cover this particular face. I've um, had a close look at the cabinets. They're in pretty nice shape. There is a little bit of a, a, a veneer peel at the bottom that we're going to have to address right around there. And we're going to have to fabricate a new bottom trim piece, which has uh, been taken off and lost. So we'll, uh, we'll order some, some hardwood and try to recreate the, the shape of this edge here. Should be no big deal. It seems like just a simple angle cut. Looking at the other side, a little bit dull in the finish, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and, and give it a light sanding and, and, and a fresh coat of oil, and that should uh, bring these back to life. So stand by for more uh, coming up now next week. We'll uh, we'll finish the installation of the drivers. We'll do some testing. We have to before putting in the Swiffer service the the controls. Um, there are a bunch of uh, rotary switches in there that will need to be cleaned and serviced to make sure that there's no scratchiness or, or lack of continuity. So that's why we're not quite put it ready to put the woofers in just yet. So um, next video, we'll do some cabinet work and, uh, and then go ahead and place uh, the rest of the drivers in place. Thanks for watching SkyFi Audio. You can visit us online at skyfiaudio.com and uh, please subscribe if you like these videos. Thanks for watching.